So the next thing I wanted to look at was something called parallel arrays. And it's really the idea of just working with two arrays or multiple arrays at the same time that coincide with similar data. So for example, I might have a top 10 scoreboard, or in this case, a top 3 scoreboard. And in that t scoreboard, I may want to display all the scores on the screen. So here you see I have two arrays, one called names, one called scores. Now they both coincide to the same index values or addresses. So for example, index 0 represents the top score and also the name of the top score. So this data is tied together. So we say these arrays are parallel. When, one, when we want to display one, we typically display the other. That also works, say for example, if we get a new score added in. Let's say a new score of 9,100 points was entered in. That means that score and the new name would then get put in uh, the second index, or index number one, and everything else would be shifted down. So um, BAM 9,000 would then be put into index two and U8000 would be pushed out of the list altogether because there's only three entries. So we have to work with that. So we have to say, whatever we do to one list, we have to do to the other list. That's the way parallel arrays work. What's done to one must be done to the other. That's the way we can keep things in sync. So if we want to work with these parallel arrays, and I just want to display them on the screen, I could do a simple for loop, for int i equals zero, such that i is less than, let's say, scores, dot length. It doesn't really matter whether I use scores at length or names dot length because they're both the same size. They're parallel arrays. And then I'm just going to increase that by one. And inside of here we're essentially just going to display the top 10 scoreboard. So um, console dot right line. Now I'm going to display i plus one because we never see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 on a top 10 scoreboard, we see 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to add 1 to the value of i, and then I'm going to put a little dot beside that, and add that, add the name next to that, so let's say uh, names bracket i, and on that I'm going to add in a few dots beside there, 1, 2, 3, and at the end of that I'm going to add in the score, scores bracket i close our console.write line. Oops. And what we see here is we're displaying the current score number, the name of the current index, and the score of the current index. So uh, let's just change this, comment this out, and we're going to have parallel arrays. Do, 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 do. So now when we run our program, What's going to happen is it's going to define these two arrays. And it's going to say, okay, set i to the value 0. So i plus 1 is 1. 1 dot name at 0, which is ace. Scores at 0, which is 10,000. So we should see everything line up the way we expected. It. It's going to disappear because I forgot the console.read line. Try that one more time. And we see ace, bam, and u. 10,000, 9,000, 8,000, exactly the way we expect it. So we see a top 10 scoreboard working with parallel arrays to create a single statement and only one for loop. We don't have to use multiple for loops to do this. So that is parallel arrays.